In this section we're going to have a look at how we can work with and insert diagrams into our documents and we're going to be working with the service A practice file in the chapter 7 folder. Now if you go to the insert tab you'll see here a button for something called smart art. It says here a uh, graphic to visually communicate information. So if we click on that then we'll see there's a huge amount of different types of smart art that come with Word. We have uh, lists here, we've got processes, we've got cycles, hierarchies, relationships, matrices, pyramids and more. So we'll have a look at a process. Let's say we want to have a look at this process here, this chevron list. When we've picked the smart art we want we can press the OK button to insert it. Now we'll zoom out of this page a bit so we can see more clearly. Now, it's not where we want it to be, so we want to be able to move it. Now you can drag it, but it's a bit fiddly. So if we go to the Page Layout tab uh, with the Smart Art selected, we can wrap the text around that Smart Art, let's say uh, square, and once we've wrapped it, it's much, much easier to move around. You can also resize it by dragging its corners here and making it the size that you want it to be. Let's make it full width here. And moved it down to the following page. So make it a bit smaller again. Right. And back up where, where we originally wanted to be. Back up on the previous page. Oh, no, it keeps moving. Right, this is uh, a bit fiddly as you can see um, because the larger the object that you have, the more difficult it becomes to move it to where you want, want it to be on the page, as you can clearly see here. So, what I would suggest you do is make it a little bit smaller so it'll fit more easily, and then you will be able to move it around. and we get there in the end. Right, now we can make it a little bit bigger. Now, uh, each of these are text boxes so you can click in them and you can type um, uh, whatever text it is you want. And you'll see that the text will automatically resize here so that uh, it will, uh, the text will automatically fit within uh, within the box. There, you can see the text is automatically resizing, uh, not only for, to fit the box to make, but to make sure that all the uh, text in the relevant parts is all the same. Smart Art is called Smart Art because it is relatively intelligent and it knows uh, what it is um, you want things uh, to look like generally. Now in the next section we're going to have a look at how we can modify these Smart Art diagrams. Right, now we've had a look at how we create diagrams in Word 2010, let's have a look at how we modify them. And here's the uh, the diagram that we were looking at in the last segment. Now, as with many things in Word 2010, we've had two new tabs appear on the ribbon here, uh, Smart Art Tools, Design and Format. Now we can uh, change the layout of uh, the Smart Art, you can see it changing here beneath us. Uh, simply by selecting the smart art that you want and clicking on it. We can change the style of that smart art to, uh, uh, to any one of these that's available. Let's say we want this one here, simply again by clicking on it. And we can change the color scheme of the smart art uh, by clicking on it as well. Here we can change it to a nice blue. We can uh, add shapes to it. Uh, we can take these shapes inside it and move them around if we want to. There's all sorts of things that we can uh, that we can do. 
In the formatting option here as well we've got shape styles. So we can click on the entire smart art graphic or individual and we can select individual styles for these different shapes. And we can make them all different should we want to. Then we've got word art styles. If we uh, uh, have text there, we can select the uh, text that we've uh, that we've got and give it a different uh, word art style. Let's say we want uh, this here with a bit of a shadow on it. <coughs> you can add all sorts of text effects, reflections, for instance, and you can see that the uh, the smart art has expanded ever so slightly to accommodate what it is we're doing. Again, it's very intelligent and allows us to do all types of things with it to modify it. So, as I say here, there are a great many things you can do with smart art. Let's say we wanted to change the design here. We'll change it to uh, a step up process here and we can say we this one's a bit high so we want it further down we can move these further down you can do whatever you want with smart art you can even move them around using cursor control so you have absolute precision control over where smart art um, items go on the uh, within your document and again just click in the text boxes to add uh, additional text. So this is how you modify uh, SmartArt and in the next segment we're going to look at how we create and work with picture diagrams. Now that we've had a, a look at SmartArt there's a type of SmartArt that allows you to uh, use pictures in Word 2010. If we uh, go to the part of the uh, document where we want to have uh, smart art in, uh, in let's say the beginning of the second page go to the insert tab and click on smart art we'll see we have picture smart art here and again there's a great many that you can choose from let's say we want to have this first one here accented picture so we'll click on that and press OK and it will be inserted now as well as adding text, you, there's little picture icons here that you can add. So if we click on the picture icons, we want to have a look, uh, have a look at the Chapter 7 folder. And in this first large box, we want to insert the park picture, which we can do by double-clicking on it. In this one uh, here, we want to ins insert the garden picture. In this one here, we want to insert the pond picture and in this one here we want to insert the woods picture and then we can uh, type our, our text over the top and again the smart art is automatically uh, adjusting uh, the text and we can also drag the pictures around and make them bigger or smaller we can move these images here and we have our little text boxes as well which we can also uh, drag and move we'll change that text to garden it's made the text rather large here don't forget we can go to the home tab and we can change the uh, text size here and uh, we can change the text color as well if we want to and uh, and so on. Um, it's a, uh, a wonderful way of being able to create uh, interactive, very, uh, very engaging rather um, uh, graphics and artwork in your uh, documents. Also on SmartArt you have this little tab on the left hand side and if you click on that um, it's an even easier way of being able to uh, modify the uh, text and the images in your 
uh, in your documents here you can see here and we can click on highlight this text in here we can take that text size down highlight this text in here and we can take uh, this text size down and then we'll just move that text, drag it along to the edge there and we have uh, wonderful uh, ways of creating engaging uh, engaging diagrams within our documents and there are a great many as I've said here uh, in the smart art section in the uh, picture section there are a great many different types of uh, picture document and if you click on your smart uh, smart art you can change the uh, the design of that so we can change it here and uh, And change it to anyone you want or uh, here we go we've got one that uh, inserted our pictures and automatically cropped them appropriately and uh, if you click on the the images you also have a uh, picture tools tab uh, across the uh, top of the ribbon where you can adjust uh, the uh, properties of these pictures as well and crop them and uh, resize them if needs be in the next section we're going to look at how we can insert and work with charts in Word 2010.